Welcome to Reality is Undefeated. I'm at Gatewood. Thank you for tuning in. Listen, man, I just uploaded a video two nights ago telling you guys that your job is not worth your life. In that video, I detailed a number of different scenarios in which people end up either losing their lives or messing up their lives, having to do with saving company merchandise. That was two nights ago. Last night, what do I see in the news? The story I'm about to read to you guys, okay? You already see it on the thumbnail. Yes, it, yes, yes. And see, this is the type of new content that I'm gonna start rolling out. Me reacting to nonsense. Cause a lot of you guys, when you jump into the comments, you use your anecdotal experience of life as if that's what life is. And I'm like, no, this stuff is out here happening. And you're like, no, I've never seen it. So because I've never seen it, it, it doesn't happen. And so I'm going to start bringing the nonsense that I see right here to you guys reacting to it so that that anecdotal experience of yours goes right out the window. OK, let me jump into this story. <laughs> Las Vegas man charged in deadly shooting over theft of a salad. Metro police have arrested a 35 year old Las Vegas man after a woman was shot and killed last week after she was accused of stealing a salad. Rainier Jefferson, an employee at the business where the shooting happened, faces an open charge of murder with a deadly weapon. According to a Las Vegas Metropolitan Police Department news release, a man and a woman were involved in an argument with Jefferson at a business in the 500 block of East Sahara. Police said Jefferson pulled a gun and shot the woman. She was taken to Sunrise Hospital and Medical Center, where she was pronounced deceased. According to police, Jefferson was taken into custody on Wednesday and booked into the Clark County Detention Center. He is being held without bail pending a July 3rd court hearing. He also faces a probation revo revocation hearing on July 12th on a charge of possessing a gun by a prohibited person. A salad. 35 years old. And you ended your life for a salad. A salad that was not paid for by you did not belong to you. Hell, I like 7-Eleven salads. They good as hell, especially that Caesar. I get it. It wasn't worth taking that young lady's life. No, if, if, if someone is stealing and they're stealing a salad, that kind of shows the position that they're in, in my mind. I mean... I just did a video on humanity. I mean, this person didn't try to walk out with a stereo or anything like that. It was a salad, something to eat that she was either going to feed herself or someone else with. We need food to survive. And you just ended your life over a salad. You get to spend the next I don't know how many years in prison Playing that back over and over in your head over a salad. This is what I'm trying to warn young brothers against. This is what I say when, you know, a 10 second decision can land you 10 years in prison. You didn't use 10 seconds to think ahead. 10 seconds to really calm down and get in your, might, your right state of mind. The prisons are filled with people like that. They're, they're not even bad people. They just could not think clearly for 10 seconds. That's it. 10 seconds changed their lives. And an argument over a stolen salad that was not going to affect your salary. Your paycheck is going to say the same. The same thing it was last week is the same thing it's going to be this week. Stolen salad or not. Why do we sabotage ourselves like this? We care too much about things that do not belong to us. I don't even know why I just said that. I just said it two nights ago. It's ridiculous. It's beyond ridiculous. Anyhow, that's my thoughts on this. Y'all let me know what y'all feel in the comment section, man. Let me know. Let's see if we see this anecdotal experience people today. All right.